what's up my beautiful babies how are y'all i'm good. look i'm feeling good i'm looking good because this this beat is beating um it's my day off and i wanted to film some content for you guys and i have a certain section of my love bugs that want to smell good and so that's what we're gonna talk about today if you're new here welcome and if you've been here if you were day one welcome back um if you have not already seen my most recent body hair haul you need to go check that out because clean hydrated skin is the basis of always smelling good um i will die on that hill i don't know why y'all think that hygiene is a hot take when it comes to fragrance it's not wash your ass <laughs> But today we're going to talk about my updated perfume collection. I have been doing some shopping. So last year I kind of came into a rut with my collection because I was developing a lot of issues. Um, I've been getting migraines again and um, I've just been noticing some, some allergies here and there. And so there were quite a few fragrances that I had to get rid of that made me very sad. <laughs> And so for a while, I wasn't really shopping. Um, one, you guys know that things were kind of crazy in the household. And I was really just trying to make sound decisions money-wise because I was trying to hold my mama down, okay? Um, but I hadn't really been shopping for fragrance. And so when Black Friday came along, uh, this past Black Friday, I really took that opportunity to pick up some more things. And then I have just been treating myself because working with children is hard. <laughs> um, and so I have really been back playing with fragrance, um, playing with some brands that I know, many that I don't. I have tried so many super hyped and viral fragrances and your girl has been smelling good. I don't go anywhere without getting a compliment because I always smell good. Okay, we're going to talk about my updated fragrance collection. These are all new things that I have added into my collection. I'm not going to show the whole thing because that would be a much longer video. But if there's something that you guys would like at some point, let me know and we can do that. So if you're interested in seeing all of the new additions to my collection, I have some really good shit here, y'all. Then just keep on watching. We got to do fragrance of the day. I smell amazing. I first layered my body hair that smells amazing. This is from Pretty Girl Beauty and their strawberry and their strawberry vanilla macaron scent. Um, I used their body milk and body nectar. Um, you can't get the body mil milks anymore for this season because it's hot outside. But you can still get the body nectars and, and pretty soon she's going to be launching her body creams for the summertime. Check her out. This smells like a crispy strawberry macaron filled with vanilla cream and like a little bit of like a strawberry compote in the middle. So good. It, I love Pretty Girl. Y'all need to get into Pretty Girl. So many of y'all have told me that you went and shopped her sales and have products on the way based on my last video. I hope you guys love them as much as I do because her stuff is so good. And then for fragrance, I layered Sugar Me Sweet Marshmallow Fluff. We will talk about that in just a minute. Pure marshmallow fragrance. Look at the dent. <laughs> um, and then I also layered that with um, Armani C. Fiori. I don't think you can get this anymore. I think they discontinued it, but I have been craving pulling the scent back out. This is Armani C, but make it fluffier. Throw some marshmallow in there. I love this one so much. So I smell sweet, soft, feminine, fluffy, fruity. I smell very touchable. And the glow, the glow is all pretty girl beauty, okay? So yeah, am I feeling myself today? Yes, I am. The girlies that piqued my curiosity the most, and I would just like to say so many of my fragrance purchases have been influenced by Fumi Monet and Caroline Stern. Between those two, I'm never safe, okay? <laughs> So, um, Caroline, Miss Caroline, um, does a lot of really great videos on just vanilla forward fragrances, marshmallow forward fragr fragrances. She's very good at taking certain notes that people want in a fragrance and building you a profile of things from body care, all of that, <laughs> down to the perfume that will fit what you're looking for. And so the first one that influenced me was Dulce by Rosie Jane. I love this fragrance. As you can see, I got this in November. 
she's almost empty. Um, and I also have all of the accompanying body care from the shower gel all the way down to the body oil. I love this. This is literally dairy cream soft serve comb dipped. That's what this is. <laughs> it's not too heavily chocolate. Um, it's the, it's that candy coating chocolate, you know, but it's different than like a deep, dark, decadent chocolate. It's, so, it's vanilla soft serve and it is so, so good. Well, my, one of my favorite fragrances to wear on its own. I like wearing this out uh, when I'm just doing something casual. I like wearing this to bed. This is great to wear to work. Um, I like to smell cozy. I do florals at work, but I usually mix them with something to make them a little bit more warm and cozy. I go that route because I work with children and they will tell you, if you walk in the room and you wear something that they don't like, they'll be like, um, where you come from? What is that? You need to go wash that off. You stink. Kids will tell you you stink. They will tell you you stink. They don't care. They don't care about your feelings. They, they will hurt your feelings. <laughs> um, and so I take great pride in the fact that my students always say that I always smell good because they are picky little boogers. Um, this is one that always gets compliments. A lot of people say that this doesn't last on them, but I can smell it throughout the day. It lingers on my clothes when I get home and I go to change. So this is a banger. I clearly need to get another one. Um, By Rosie Jane has been giving me life lately. My other favorite vanilla. Listen, as much as we all try to say that we're not like other girls, we are like other girls. Because other girls be popping. Other girls be right. Other girls be killing it. They be smelling good. And that is why Bianco Latte is something that you need to get with when it comes to the other girls. This is bomb. Um, this is also another one that is almost, can you, I don't know if you can see. No, you can't, but I'm sitting right here on the bottle. This is 100 mil. This right here has been the ultimate. I think this has beat out all of my compliment getters. And I have some banging compliment getters. A lot of people say that Ro by Rosie Jane Dulce and this smell identical. They don't. On um, no, especially not on skin. I feel like a uh, Dulce is almost a cold fragrance. Like <laughs> it literally smells like ice cream. It evokes that feeling of like cold. This is warm. It's caramel. It's a little milky almost cookie-like. Uh, there are some spices in there, a little bit of cinnamon. This is so good. And when I tell y'all, the compliments that I get when I wear this are absolutely insane. Um, I wore this all throughout the winter months, just this with accompanying body care. And I would switch out my body care depending on what I wanted to highlight. Um, and this came through every time. Um, when I get compliments, it's usually someone saying, what is that? It smells like cookies or it smells like candy. And then when I say it's me, they're like, you smell so fucking good. Like literally, I can't tell you how many times I have had someone look me in the face in public and say, you smell so fucking good. It's that girl. It's it's hyped up for a reason because it's good. Um, I adore it. I'm going to be getting another bottle. The only reason I don't have another bottle is because this was out of stock for a while. But I love this. You don't need a lot of it either. It projects more than you think it does. Um, like it will fill up a room when you walk in, but not in an offensive way. Um, it just, it, it's that way of you walk in and you know somebody smells good, but it's not something like that'll punch you in the face like a really strong stinky oud. It's not that. Um, and this is another one that every time I wear it, my kids are like, Miss Bree, you smell amazing. I've actually had several of my kids be like, Miss Bree, do you have the perfume you wore? Can you spray it on me? Because you always smell so good. Like my girls are obsessed with scent. Um, and they will literally be on me about like, can you bring your perfume and spray it on us? And I'm like, y'all, I, I can't just be bringing my expensive bottles to work. <laughs> but I do give them a little spritz every now and then because we're girls, girls over here. Okay. <laughs> so now that we have moved on from that, let's get into Sphinx fragrances. This is a company that was new to me. I came across a video from Kathleen Lights talking about her favorite pistachio perfumes. And I love pistachio. Like I love me some pistachio, but
but at the time I didn't really have a lot of pistachio fragrances in my collection I had Ellie Saab Girl Up Now um and then I just had like my favorite pistachio like body care that I would wear but I didn't have any actual pistachio fragrances to really set those things off she talked about creme de pistache from sphinx i had to go get it can we talk about how gorgeous this bottle is i love their packaging um they do 100 mils and they also offer 10 mil travel sizes um y'all these fragrances are so complex they are strong they are potent very affordable though for extraits creme de pistache is not what you expect at all even though like if you look at the fragrance notes on like fragrantica there is um caramel there is ice cream there is like a candied note in there there's a little bit of lemon um you have this really beautiful nutty pistachio with some rum but there are some like blonde woody notes in the bottom and some musk in there as well that make this so different from any other pistachio fragrance that I have tried. I have heard people say that this gives candle and I don't really get that, um, but it is different. Now, when I first bought this, one, it was cold outside and two, I didn't try it on skin. And when I, I put this on the blotter, I was like, God, what is that? That doesn't like, I thought maybe they sent me the wrong perfume. Um, this is one that definitely needs to macerate, especially if you're getting it during a, a time when it's really cold outside. I found that with all my fragrances when I was making purchases during the winter time, the, the oils in there were just not really coming through in these fragrances. And I had to just like spray them a couple of times, put them away and let them sit so I could smell the true fragrance because they all kind of needed to macerate for a little bit. This is phenomenal, y'all. And I absolutely adore it. This is one that I don't feel like it is necessarily crowd pleasing. It's one that is kind of like, if you get it, you get it, you know? But I adore it. The pistachio note in this is one of my favorite pistachio notes because it is so edible. It's toasted and warm. The, accompany the accompanying creamy notes from the ice cream, um, the little bit of zip you get in there from the rum. It's so good. This is a beautiful fragrance. And I feel like this is perfectly unisex as well. Um, I feel like if you are a guy, gal, they, them, all that, uh, if you like something that isn't necessarily too flirty, but you also like something that also has that little bit of a woody touch to it, but you still want a gourmand, I think you will love this. If you like complex gourmands, I think that you will love this. So that is Creme de Pistache from Sphinx. At the same time that I purchased that, I also picked up Hortada de Vigny. And this is another one that's just beautiful. These, they do pick up fingerprints though. It's the only downside. But this is beautiful. I love the pink bottle with the gunmetal. So pretty. Um, and this is a cinnamon bomb. Over time though, now that it has set those creamy notes of the horchata, the rice, all of that come out. But if you do not like cinnamon forward fragrances, you won't like this. I really enjoy it though. I feel like this was really a vibe. Um, in the fall and winter, this is so fall and winter coated. I could never see myself wearing it this time of year, but it is literally um, cinnamon stick, horchata, vanilla, all of that. It is so beautiful. I love it and it's good. And I love the rice note in this too. And this kind of turned me on to more fragrances that have like that rice note in there. So I want to try more fragrances that have that because I love the nutty creaminess you get from something that has that rice in the base. This one shocked me. Um, I have been trying to find a good chocolate fragrance for a minute. I really adore Chocolate Greedy from Montal. Um, but I wanted to find some other things and I specifically wanted that kind of chocolate orange thing going on that everyone said Hugo Boss was giving, even though that smells like Pledge. 
the girlies were not honest when, with that one. Y'all were playing in my face with that one. That was not creamy. It was not yummy. It smelled like all-purpose cleaner. This right here is everything that I have been wanting from a chocolate citrus gourmand. And that is chocolate citronique. Chocolate citronique is literally orange Milano cookies from Pepperidge Farm. It's shortbread. It's a rich, deep, but not too deep chocolate and a really beautiful layer of orange. But it's not a crazy, super citrusy orange. This is perfectly chocolatey, citrusy, but still fluffy is what I love about it. It's, oh my God, it's so good. I can't stop sniffing it. It smells so good. I did a fragrance video on this on Reels. And I think I also posted it to Shorts too, um, featuring this with some of my other accompanying body care that really works well with this. I love it. It lasts, all of the Sphinx fragrances last like eight hours plus. They last. Um, you only need a few sprays with them. This right here, I think is rivaling for my favorite of what I own, even though there are some others that I do want to pick up full bottles of, but Chocolate Citronique is absolutely stunning. This actually goes with the whole vibe of what I'm wearing right now. I feel like this is the perfect pr fragrance for someone who wants to venture more into those more literal gourmands, but you don't want to smell too buttery, too cakey. I feel like this is the perfect place to go. And if you have been looking for a chocolate, this is absolutely phenomenal. This is such a beautiful fragrance. It is warm and cozy um, and still like makes you smell kind of lickable, but it's still just something that's so put together about it. I adore this fragrance. It is everything. My last full bottle, this is probably like the most rivaling creme de pistache for the most unique out of them um, in the lineup. And that is First Date. Can we talk about how beautiful? And this is definitely a full on unisex fragrance. This, ooh. Okay, so you're in a new relationship, right? And you are dating this guy. He is put together, okay? Line up on point. Always smells good. Clothes pressed. He drives a nice car. Y'all have finally gotten out of that, you know, like early dating phase and you spend the night for the first time. Mm -hmm. Y'all have a good night, a good little, a good little love sesh. You wake up the next day and he's gone to work, but he leaves you a little note, tells you to stay as long as you need to. He'll be, you know, he'll be back in a little bit. So you get up, you go into his bathroom, you take a shower, you use your favorite like coconut body wash or shampoo. You get all lathered up and like a sweet soft vanilla lotion. And then you put on his t-shirt that still smells like him. That's what this smells like. <laughs> Was that a little too on the nose? Did I just say a lot about myself? Listen, that's what this smells like. It's very much getting up in the morning, taking the best shower of your life and putting on your man's t-shirt. That's what this gives. There is some coconut in this, some vanilla. Um, there's also some cedar wood in here as well. A little bit of sandalwood. This is so good. It's creamy and it's sweet, but it also has those notes that you like I love in like my man's favorite cologne you know like it just there's something very reminiscent that, that gives like this nostalgia almost um and makes me think of being cuddled up with my man I love it you can wear it your man can wear it anybody can wear it this is such a beautiful scent um I don't wear it often though because I have to be in a certain mood like there is something that is so sensual but like cozy and this is almost like a comfort scent for me because it just makes me feel like I'm wrapped up in the person that I love 
So yeah, this is great. If you love scents like that, like if you were from that, um, God, what is her name? Her name, she played Addison on Grey's Anatomy. Her, fr her boyfriend line, if you like that kind of scent, I think that you will adore this. And this has the most beautiful, yummy, like coconut twist to it. It's really good. Next up, another new fragrance house to me. Um, when I picked this up, this was much cheaper than it is now. Um, I'm happy that I got this before. But look, I have wanted to be like the cool girlies for a while. I love me a good sandalwood forward fragrance. I love that coziness of the sandalwood. But sometimes it, it don't be doing it for me. And I will be real, Santal 33. It smells like bread and butter pickles to me. Mm -mm. I like that scent profile typically in a home fragrance, but on my skin. Mm -mm. And Lalabo really just something about that Santal 33 irks my brain. This is everything I wanted it to be. And this is Bois de Santal from Brandt Perfumes. Can we, first of all, can we talk about how beautiful this bottle is? It is stunning and it's huge, okay? Can y'all see the dent? <laughs> like, I don't wear my sandalwood forward fragrances often because for me, it's usually a certain vibe. Either I'm really trying to get dressed up or it's kind of like that rainy day kind of situation. This is amazing. This is sandalwood, but it's also like a little bit of vanilla and there is this really buttery orris in there that almost gives off this leather vibe that I adore. And there's like some violet undertones in there too. If you don't like sandalwood, you will not like this. Like my best friend, he does not like sandalwood forward things. And he says that he, <laughs> he gives me the side eye when I wear this, but this is so good. I love it. Um, This is a more so elegant, buttery, like, soft suede touch um an upgrade to what you usually get with the very like casual you know like almost kind of finance bro-y santal 33 i really love this and it makes me feel like a bad bitch when i wear it um i know they've gone up on the price i haven't gone to see how much it is now because i kind of just don't want to i kind of don't want to but I'm gonna have this forever. I'm not gonna need to repurchase this for a while because you don't need a lot. Only a few sprays will do ya. Um, put that shit on, but don't overdo it because she is strong, but she's beautiful. And when it when it settles into the skin, it's very much like your skin, but better. Like, dude, do you just like sweat good fragrance? Like that's what this gets. Actually, all these are new to me niche fragrances, but I really was in my bag with some of these. Um, the first one, I have been really into Citrusy Gourmands. And I didn't want to fully bite the bullet on Lyra yet, even though I know I'm going to end up adding Lyra to my collection. I love Lyra. But this right here, Unknown Pleasures from Kerosene, is absolutely, look, this is the Lord's work right here. This is so good. So this has notes of lemon, there is Earl Grey tea, um, vanilla, and um, shortbread in here. It's so good. You get all of that. It literally smells like um, light, super delicate shortbread cookies. There's a very light butteriness in here. It's only slightly buttery. It's not, you're not going to smell like straight up butter. Um, this is so good and it also says it has like a garage note in there so there's almost like this slight metallic -y undertone in here that makes this so interesting and like flirty and like this very like grunge kind of way that I adore. This is such a good scent. It's yummy. It's bright. Um, but it's also like a tad bit dirty. And I did a, um, an unboxing of this fragrance over on Instagram, and I think I also posted it to shorts. But this to me is what I imagine Roxy from Dinner Viper smelling like. If you've read Dinner Vipers, it's one of 
It's the first white shoes I ever read. For a lot of people, it's the first white shoes book they've ever read. But Roxy is this very like um, mouthy, kind of like biker type rocker-esque girl. Um, and they always talk about her just having this scent that's very much uniquely her, like she smells like home, but like also kind of has that like grungy metal thing going on. This is why I imagine that Roxy smells like. Yeah. And Roxy was getting fucked. Um, anyway, <laughs> this is amazing. I love it. I adore it. Such a good scent. Um, if you are looking for a citrusy gourmand, kind of in the way that Lyra has going on, um, but you don't want something that is quite there. You want something that's a little bit more complex, a little bit more interesting. Check her out. And I also, falling into the world of like more literal gourmands, people have been talking about this brand for a hot minute. Um, and I was very curious about the fragrances, but I didn't get the fragrances that people suggested to me. I saw this one and I had to try it out. This is um, Jusette Perfumes. Um, and this is Accident a la Vanille, but this is their Madeline and Peaches version. So they have a berry one and they have just the original Accident a la Vanille. Um, and they just came out with um, one called Le Gourmand, which is like a hazelnut cacao scent. I want to try all of them, but this right here, on the bottle it says, fluffy buttery Madeline stuffed with an irresistible peach, and that is exactly what this is. Now that it has set, the peach is way more forward in this fragrance and it comes out sweeter. Um, when I first got this, I was like, I don't know, because it was, the butter was buttery. It, it's a buttery fragrance. If you don't like buttery fragrances, you will hate this. Um... But as it has set, that peach has come forward more. The peach and the vanilla in this. And this is so good. And it literally smells like exactly what it says. It smells like a madeleine that is very decadent and buttery fresh out of the oven. That has just been piped with like a really yummy, jammy peach filling. It's so good. Um, I have actually been wearing this quite a bit. I hate that you can't see through the bottle though. Like you can't. Usually if you hold it up to light, you can see it. This one you can't. It's dark all the way through. Um, it's not one that I wear often, but I have had time and place for it and it smells so yummy, so decadent. I love a good peach scent and this one is one of my favorite peach scents right now. I've been wanting more like literal peachy, peachy fragrances. Um, and this is one that I'm really enjoying, but this is not straight up peach. This is peach, but make it bakery. Um, Jusset is really beautiful. Like I, I really like... Um, what they're doing so I definitely want to get a couple more of their fragrances in my collection. As far as lemon goes I feel like I've hit the jackpot on like lemony citrusy fragrances. This one from Theodoros Calatinus. Um, this is lemon tart. I fell in love with this fragrance and they have just dropped some new heat. They have a pear gelato fragrance and a cherry powder fragrance that I really want to get my hands out on as well as a creme brulee one. I need it. These, listen, first of all, $55 for an EDP. This is amazing. Now, where Unknown Pleasures is way more complex, this one isn't quite as complex, but I find it to be just as enjoyable, if not more. This is a very bright lemon curd fragrance. You get the slightest bit of buttery crust, but not too much. It's very much in the background. And think of it being topped with a really yummy, soft, fluffy whipped cream. That's what this is. And it is stunning. I adore this fragrance. Um, I have so much like lemony scented body care um, and this fits perfectly with it. There's a creaminess to this that even though yes, it's gourmand. It almost leans like a very creamy lotion. So it kind of bends things in that aspect. It's like, is it perfume? Is it body care? Is it food? And I really like that about this fragrance. It doesn't, even though it's literal, it do almost doesn't wear too literal on the skin. And I love the brightness of that lemon curd note in this. It's beautiful. It's creamy and it's sweet and it's just decadent but in a almost like very light way like a very whipped creamy way 
Um, so I highly suggest this. This is another one that I feel like if you are trying to get into more like literal gourmands, y'all know I am like a, I am an aromatic gourmand girly. Fabulous Use is like my favorite fragrance of all time. I love an aromatic gourmand. But if you want something that's a little bit more literal, but you don't want to go too far like into like the accident a la vanille route, try this, especially if you like citrusy gourmand. All right, now I wanted to pick this up because I have heard amazing things about it. I love the body butter from this company. I'm sure you know where I'm going with it. Pistache Skincare, Pistachio Biscotti Perfume. And it does smell exactly like the body butter. I've been using that body butter for years. I remember back in the day when um, Danny was talking about it and she coined it the boyfriend body butter. She doesn't get enough praise and hype on this app. I'm just saying. Um, this is phenomenal. This is more of a pistachio almond, but I like the perfume because those like cinnamony kind of bakery biscotti notes really come out in the perfume whereas you get more of the almond pistachio and the body butter this is so good love layering this and it lasts a pretty decent amount of time too especially when you're wearing this with the body butter i think i paid like 50 dollars for that so can't complain i enjoy it i also saw miss caroline stern talking about this and i had to pick it up because i have been wanting some good strawberry fragrances um, but I tend to be a little wary of strawberry and perfume, um, unless it's blended with like some really beautiful like vanilla and florals like Cheval d'Or from um, House of Siage. It's like my favorite strawberry. This one is a straight up strawberry. This is Fraise Fouté. And it's beautiful. It smells like... Y'all remember the strawberry shortcake dolls? This is what it makes me think of. Um, it is a really yummy, soft, milky vanilla strawberry. And it's so good. And I just love how it looks. Um, I think these are like $25 on the website. But usually you can walk into like Marshall's TJ Maxx and find Lemon Guaman for like $11, $14. So really enjoy that one that has been in rotation too with my fragrances like the pretty girl beauty stuff does really really well i like wearing that to bed but really nice on days where i'm just feeling like fresh cute flirty girly so i'm a fan this is like my biggest splurge purchase but i got a really good deal on this okay um i came across this in one of my lucky scent orders i got it as a sample um and i became immediately obsessed with it i don't do a lot of fresh forward fragrances i'm not really much of a freshy girl and i have like very specific fresh scents that i like uh, my favorite one has been bulgari omnia crystalline but i haven't been wearing it because i now have a very sad scent memory attached to it it was the fragrance that i was wearing when i had to go put my cat down and y'all know i had her for almost 20 years um and so that was Every time I smell it, I also smell that animal hospital and I think about that time and I just, I can't, like even the outfit I had on that day, I haven't worn it since. Um, so I've been wanting to get into more fresh fragrances, but a lot of them just have notes that just kind of turn me off. This one is just absolutely stunning. I don't usually like cottony, um, like overly clean fragrances, but this right here is absolutely beautiful. The girlies did not lie about this. 724 from Maze and Francis Kirk John. I don't know if that's. It does not want to focus, and that's fine. <laughs> um, this is such a stunning bottle, too. And look at the inside. It has like the that cityscape in there. Um, I had this on my radar for a minute and I wasn't sure if I was gonna bite the bullet, but then I saw this pop up on Aura Fragrance for $1.99 and I had to get it because this fragrance usually runs around like $2.99. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up. Aura Fragrance is reputable. They're selling legit stuff on there. So if you're looking for another like discount site, that's a really good one to go to. They usually have a lot of like good niche stuff on there. Parfum de Marly, they end up having a lot of MFK on there. I've seen Anishio on there, Nishane. 
um, all sorts of stuff. Mise and Seer, all sorts of really good, like well-known, um, well-acclaimed niche brands. This right here, y'all, is so beautiful. It is, has some bergamot. It's aldehydic, but not in like a very dated way. This is a very modern take on aldehydes. It's clean. It has a little bit of that citrusy bergamot in there. The sweet pea note in this is what gets me. Because it brings like this really yummy, soft, sweet floral in there. I love this. This is a freshie that I actually get compliments on. Most of my freshies I don't get compliments on, but this one I do and I absolutely adore it. Um, I will go in with my a native powder and cotton body wash. Just slather myself in that, get clean, put on my fresh and cozy from um, EOS, the lotion. That fresh and cozy lotion smells so good, by the way. Y'all gotta get your hands on that. Douse myself in this and I get compliments all day. It's fresh and clean. You just smell really put together, but it's still very like girly. It's very clean in a very girly way. And I love it. This is... Mm, this is the woman that has her shit together. I took mom to brunch the other day and I wore this and it was just, it was a vibe. Straight up vibe. I also picked up a couple of fragrances from Sniff. Um, I saw their collaboration with Alex L and I wanted to support and I thought that was a really good opportunity to get another fragrance I've been wanting to try. So let's talk about the first one, Heal the Way from Alex L. This is so beautiful. It has um, positive affirmations written on the bottle. And this is a um, pistachio, vanilla, and palo santo fragrance. Y'all, this right here is one of my favorite cozy pistachio scents. This, I love how I have several pistachio fragrances in this video. None of them smell the same. This is so cozy. This has like this really yummy caramelly bourbon vanilla. The pistachio was really nice and nutty. That Palo Santo comes in and just gives you this kind of fluffy, clean, but still woody groundedness to the fragrance. Y'all got to get this. The price point is right, okay? Um, it lasts. Like, this lasts all day on me. I've been wearing it to work, and I get compliments on it. It is just, it's a vibe. It is a complete vibe. She did her big thing with this one. She did. I adore this. It smells amazing. This is one of my favorite like at home in a comfy sweater type of scents. This actually is also something I would vibe with with this outfit. Um, if I wanted to go more cozy and not so like dressed up. Yeah, I love it. And then we have Crumb Couture. Been hearing a lot about this. I was having a hard time finding it on the website. Uh, I guess this is now going to be under their no noses situation. They just released like a a soda fragrance and a pizza fragrance. I think this is going to be under that umbrella now. Um, this is berries and freshly baked croissants. But this has a very strong perfumey touch to it that makes it, it's literal, but it still smells like perfume. And I'm still deciding how I feel about it. I've been wearing it and it's strong and it works. But I think as much as I love the scent profile, I think that Whiff of Waffle Cone from Imaginary Authors really does it for me as far as like that very literal berry and like cinnamony ice cream cone note goes, but still making it smell like perfume. I think they did it just a little bit better. But I do really enjoy this though. It's something that I've been wearing quite a bit. I really enjoy the profile. I love the buttery croissant note in this. Um, but like I said, I'm still kind of work playing with it and really figuring out how I feel about it. Um, some, some fragrances take me a little bit of time to figure out how much I like them. This is one of those. Um, and then I have a couple of companies that I discovered over on the Tiki Talk. <laughs> you can go follow me on there. I haven't been posting much lately, but I'm trying to get back to it. Um, both of these are handmade organic fragrances. 
let's start with the local one. Um, this is Sorcellery Apothecary. She's located in Charlotte, North Carolina. I have to go visit her studio one day because her fragrances are everything. And I absolutely adore them. The first one I have, this is the only uh, smaller size that I got. I think this is what, like a 10 mil. This is her Falling Star scent. And I got it in the Sweet Cream version. And the Falling Star scent is a coffee-based fragrance. So if you just, what she does is you go on and she asks you how you like your coffee. And there's a Sweet Cream version. There's a black version. There's like a strawberry and matcha version. Um, several different versions. And you, you basically order the perfume like you want to order your coffee. This is so beautiful. The coffee in this is deep. It's dark. It's rich. But then you have those really beautiful, almost caramelly touches from the sweet cream. It's so good. I love it. I need a full bottle of it. This is beautiful. You can see I've been using it often. This kind of puts me in the mind of um, a more Cafe from Mansara, but think dark roasted coffee beans yeah it's so good if you love a coffee scent get into the falling stars line from source celery so beautiful i picked this up when it was still cold outside this is very much a cold weather fragrance snow moon magic this is lavender sugar heaps of vanilla um chai spices like think um, like a warm chai and fresh baked cookies. This is so good. Now the regular um, Moon Magic is just going to give you like those spices, the, the vanilla, this uh, lavender sugar. This has that added like hit of like an almost bourbony vanilla with those cookies and it's so good. It's cozy. It's comforting. It is, um, it's aromatic, it's vanilla, but it's still buttery and I love it. And there's something about these fragrances that just feel so special. Like I just feel so special owning these and I love the craftsmanship of it all. She has changed the bottles, but they're still beautiful. Um, and then I've got two special order fragrances. The first one is a Witch's Valentine and y'all, this is the most stunning raspberry fragrance I have ever encountered. This is roses, raspberry jam, and vanilla scented Chantilly cream. So pretty. This is beautiful. I don't know if you can still order this on the website. I know that the um, alcohol-based perfume was sold out when I last went on the website. But if she brings this back, y'all need to get into it. It is so beautiful. Whenever I'm feeling super duper girly and feminine, I put this on and I get so many beautiful compliments and her musk note that she uses is absolutely phenomenal. I, ooh, it's so good. This is my favorite raspberry fragrance. Like this raspberry vanilla rose combo that she has going on here is special. I told y'all I have been into these citrusy gourmands. This is what big eyes you have. This is another special order. And this is another lemon forward fragrance. This is shortbread cookies, lemon curd, um, heaps of whipped cream. This is so yummy. It just smells cozy, but still citrusy and bright. And there's this really beautiful, like, um, like blonde, musky quality in this too. That I adore. So it still sits on your skin like skin in the most beautiful way. So good. Her fragrances are beautiful. Check out Sorcellery Apothecary. If you're someone who one, likes to shop small, <clears throat> um, indie brands, you wanna shop local if you're in the area, and you just want something that's unique, you've got to check out Source Celery. She is doing her big one with those perfumes. These are from the company Sugar Me Sweet. This is another indie 
um, small perfume company. You can get her on Etsy. I also found her over on TikTok. I will try to put their pages um, in the description box for you guys. So my first initial per initial purchase was part of my scent of the day. This is Marshmallow Fluff. And this is literally heaps and heaps of creamy, soft marshmallow fluff. It is very straight up, straightforward. I love it on its own if I just want a nice, like, sweet marshmallow moment. This is perfect to layer with so many other fragrances. I layer this with Delina. I layer it with Cheval d'Or. I'm layering it with C today. It smells so good. And it's perfect to layer with any, like, sweet floral fragrance. Yeah, it's good. Or you can layer it with other gourmands. And then I also got, in that order, I picked up grow peaches and brown sugar i don't wear this one as often because it is strong this is straight up fresh peaches don't freak out with the grilled it doesn't smell burnt um it just smells very very sweet like you guys know how like when you grill fruit it makes it extra sweet it's very very sweet and it also has that like brown sugar touch to it really nice if you want a fresh um super sweet macerated peach scent really really nice there was this strawberry milk sample that i got i had to get the full size this is her strawberry milk perfume this literally smells like strawberry shortcake dipped in strawberry milk and it's so satisfying i've been wearing this a lot again with my pretty girl beauty i like wearing this to bed um it's just really nice and sweet. These are not super expensive either. I think the 30 mils are $29. Her 10 mils are like 11 or $12. So you don't have to break the bank with these. They last, like they really last. They're beautiful. This one is so good. If you are just looking for something like super duper yummy and edible, um, strawberry milk is really good. And then I also picked up her vanilla creme and apricot gelée. This is inspired by Glaze Ecstasy by Simone Andrioli. I think that one is like an exclusive release. You can only get it on like the specific website. And I had heard about it. When I saw that she had an inspired by version, I wanted to check it out. I love this. It's so good. The vanilla custard is so on point in this, but you get some bright citrusy notes in the beginning that really like dries down into this really beautiful raspberry and apricot gelée and that custardy base is beautiful it's y'all this is delicious um this would have been perfect to wear today too with the pretty girl beauty stuff so yummy i can't wait to wear this out i like literally just got this in the mail all right babes that is it for this video this is my updated perfume collection all the things that i have added to my existing collection i am so happy with what i have and right now i'm kind of in a play mode there's one outside of the theodoros calatinus fragrances that i was talking about there's one other fragrance that i want to get this mango oud by gritty and i feel like right now i'm just in a stage where i want to play i've really been doing a lot of mixing all of that good stuff so y'all let me know, have you tried any of these fragrances? What do you think about them? Do you think they're overhyped? Have you found new things that you want to try? Let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video. Bye.